You should eat something. No. So what happened in South America, Roland? Uh, was it seeing the plight of the people in need there? And I was the one in need, actually. I didn't know that I'd come to the end of my rope. I didn't know it. I thought I was searching for answers to Emma's death. But what I was really doing was hiding from my pain behind walls and my defenses. My defenses cracked. I was uh, hiking deep in the rainforest with an Englishman that I'd met there. Several Karaja tribesmen came out of the bush while we were washing one morning. It was very awkward at first. We started talking with sign language and everything. And, but soon we were all laughing together. They were very innocent, these men. Quite wonderful, really. Then my companion, he started brushing his teeth. And they killed him. What? You're serious? Oh, yeah. Jesus, why? Well, because his, his mouth started foaming up with the toothpaste, and they thought he was rabid. So they, they killed him to, so he wouldn't suffer. They killed him out of some kind of compassion. That's horrible. That's really... It's freakish. That's what it is. It's freakish. So what did you do, Roland? I lost my fucking mind. That's what I did. I couldn't believe that this man had lost his life because of some insane cultural misunderstanding. I realized how capricious life really was and what kind of a joke was this. I became so resentful. I, I kept traveling, though. But I couldn't sleep anymore. I couldn't eat. I couldn't I, I keep, uh, keep my demons down. But it all came to a head on a hut high on the mountains in the Andes. These men brought me into this hut from the village that uh, I was insane, acting like a madman. And they, we sat on the floor in a circle and they handed me this bowl full of gray liquid and said, drink it. And I don't know why, but I trusted them. And so I drank it, and then I asked him what it was. What did he say it was? Poison. 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 What? What? <laughs> this is getting a little strange. So was it wrong? Was it poison? What? My God, what did you do? At first I laughed, and then I threatened him. I said I was going to smash him right in the face, and I realized my hands were getting numb. <laughs> oh, my God. Then I realized, no, he's serious. This guy is serious. I said, why'd you do this to me? And he said, in broken Spanish. He said, flaco. Broken Spanish. Some soup. soup. He's gonna eat some soup. It's good, good, for, your your it's good for your spirit. It's good for your spirit. You're dying, dying anyway. Dying anyway. Flaco. If you tell the truth, he said, I'll give you the antidote. If you don't, I'm gonna let you die. And so I got really dizzy. I started hallucinating. Twisted visions of all my friends and uh, all the crap I couldn't hold down, and all my ghosts. I'm sorry. Don't this go. Is, this is great. Yeah, this is really awful. No, 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 no. This is a great story. This is gonna sell like hotcakes, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Continue, Roland. I started going blind. So help me. I got so terrified, I walked out of the hut by the edge of the cliff. And I knelt there. And I was shaking and crying and praying and cursing God and begging. And all the crap just came tumbling out and puked out. And I saw my whole life thrown on a fire. Every moment, every feeling I'd ever had or would have was burning all at once. And I realized I was standing at the edge of a cliff. And what then? I woke up the next morning. And I was alone. And they had given me the antidote. And I felt peace and relief and joy like I had never felt in my whole life before. And that feeling hasn't left me. <laughs>